Hey guys, so I just recorded a favorites video. I will link that in the description. I recorded it for this channel, my main channel, so it was beauty related. And then I recorded my non-beauty related favorites for my vlog channel, Honey Flower 3 on the go. So I will link both those in the description if you want to check them out. And now I have a haul for you. They're kind of random little things I picked up here and there. A few things are from the drugstore and two of the things are actually things Issa picked up that I just wanted to show you. So I figured I would. <laughs> so first is the shirt I'm wearing. This is from Kohl's. I saw it there the other day and I love it. It's kind of cute snow related shirt. It has owls on it. I don't know a normal way to show this. I don't know. Maybe I'll just stand up. But it has owls and they're all kind of snow related owls and they're so cute. It is a junior shirt. So I think so long sleeves, nice kind of tan camel color. Cute little owls on it. I just love it. It's adorable. So that was one thing I got. I don't remember how much it was. It was probably under $20. It's Kohl's. The stuff is pretty affordable there. Next, um, if you follow me on Twitter, then you would know this. Um, if you don't follow me on Twitter, then you should. I don't really self-promote ever. I'm never like, oh, like and favorite this video. I just don't do that. And I never really mention my Twitter. But I do have a Twitter. If you want, you can follow me. It's a good way to kind of know what I've been up to. It's a good way to ask a question. I really try and tweet everyone back if you tweet me and I answer questions. Um, so if you want, you can follow me. It's twitter.com slash honeyflower3. But like I said, I'm not one to be like, follow me in every single video. So if you want, you can I have a Twitter. But I did say on Twitter how I think a week or so ago I was going out and I had like no makeup on. I just had foundation and blush. Actually, I just had foundation at first. My mom was like, you look a little pale, Angela. I'm like, oh, let me throw on some blush or I threw on some like blush and bronzer, but I had no face makeup. I had um, no eye makeup on. I just had face makeup. And my mom was like, oh, okay, you know, just go on, go ahead, go out. But it was just funny how she made a comment like, oh, you're not wearing any makeup tonight. I'm like, no, I'm just not in the mood. But when I ended up going out, um, my plans completely changed and I needed makeup. Like I needed to get makeup on. So I ended up going to the drugstore and picking up a few things because I had to make Seriously, do. Now I'm going to carry makeup in my bag at all times. Just in case this happens again, I won't have to run to Rite Aid, the closest drugstore, and pick this stuff up. So what I ended up getting, I guess I was in such a rush, I really did a terrible job shopping. So I picked up these Revlon cream shadows and I thought they were not just nude, but they're not. Like they look just like the not just nude colors. So I was thinking, okay, I remember in my um, cheetah makeup tutorial, I used the brown one on my lips as well. So it worked as a lip color and as an eyeshadow color. So I was like, perfect. I don't need to buy a lipstick, but these aren't not just nude. This is skin lights. The colors are pretty, but they're not what I thought they were going to be. But I've been using them a lot. I do really like them. This color is matte, this color is, is matte, and then this one is just kind of a shimmery white, and then this one is a shimmery pinkish red. Like, they're really pretty colors, but I thought that this was not just nude, which is my favorite one, and I only had um, a little bit of two of them left, so I was like, oh, perfect, I'll just buy another one. I was going to do it anyway. So, I'm glad I found a lipstick in my bag, because these colors would not work on my lips. Then I needed an eyeliner, and I figured I would just do top eyeliner, and if I wanted to, I could do the liquid eyeliner in my waterline a little bit, but I just did a nice winged out eyeliner, and this is the Maybelline Line Stiletto Liquid Eyeliner, so this is a really nice eyeliner, but what happened was I started applying it, and I'm like, oh, it's very, very light. I was like, ooh, it's, as it's liquidy, I didn't really like it, but then I realized, oh, it's coming up so light because I didn't buy black. I ended up picking up brownish black so here I was thinking that this eyeliner was really crappy but no it's actually a very nice eyeliner but it's not black it does apply very smoothly good to get a nice thin line but I'm definitely a bigger fan of black eyeliner so this one will just stay in my bag as a uh, I need something and I don't have any makeup because seriously so annoying <laughs> And then I obviously needed a mascara, and this is the Lash Blast Length Water Resistant CoverGirl Mascara. I didn't think I grabbed waterproof, but I guess I did. And this is in very black. I was okay with the color. I don't like waterproof mascaras. I don't like water resistant mascaras, but whatever. What can you do? This is the wand. Very, very short little bristles. It's very nice at lengthening your lashes. It's not going to make them any fuller. Once again, I'm just going to keep these two along with a few other items in my bag. If you want, I can do a what's in my 
makeup bag in my bag because I've never had makeup in my bag before, ever. Like, I don't carry makeup. Now I do, though, because this was an expensive trip to Rite Aid. Um, I already showed this, so I was about to show it again. So, those are the three things I got at Rite Aid. The other drugstore-related thing I got, I actually picked this up last night. It is the e.l.f. Makeup Remover Wipes. I used to carry these in my bag. I did, but then I stopped, but I'm doing it again. I really like these wipes. I feel like they're a little expensive, though. It's $3 for 20 of them, but I really like them. They don't irritate my skin, and they remove all your makeup with one wipe. Um, the other things I got were the two things that I said Issa got, and it is two items from MAC. First is Flesh Pot. I just showed this in the favorites video, but I wanted to show it again in a haul because Issa bought it and I think she got it for me for Christmas but I love this lipstick it's my favorite nude color it's such a nice nude let me swatch it over here it's like a pinky flesh tone nude I hate wearing lip colors I like wearing just nude lipsticks reapplying it so I have in mind whoops sorry Issa so love this lipstick though it's awesome and then she also got a blush this one right here it's a matte brown it's good for contouring it's right there it's obviously not going to be that dark on you can really blend it in and make it light but I like that it's matte I'm gonna probably borrow it from her and I think it is a pro color what I've noticed Issa didn't think it was but what I noticed is that on pro um, pan products the backs look different this is top and that's what the back of it looks like. And then Issa got a blue eyeshadow when we were in Orlando like two years ago. And it was a cobalt color. And it was a pro eyeshadow. And I remember the back looked like this as well. So that's how I knew it was a pro color. And this is what the other backs look like. So, like, this is a normal back. And I'm pretty sure that this is a pro color. I could be completely wrong. And it could be me just thinking that. But I'm almost positive that this is pro. And it's going to be really good for contouring and, you know. Stuff like that. My next video will be a hair tutorial because I've been getting a lot of requests to do a hair tutorial on my hair like this and the way it's been in a lot of my videos and to do a video on my double barrel curling iron. So expect one of those two very soon. Hopefully my next video, like I said, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, everyone.